Bloomboro is officially out in Magic the Gathering, so today we're doing a let's play of the jump in mode to try out some of the new cards and see what we got. I did select two packs already for Lizard Rats. Uh, that's a good combination we got right there. Yesterday, I was actually about to record a video and the servers went down because Magic the Gathering Arena has hit a new peak of 12,000 players. But today we can finally actually play. Here's all the cards in this little deck that I built or put together. Um, we've got Ravine Raider, Ruthless Negotiation, Agate Blade Assassin, Bandit's Talent, Bell, Blooming Blast, Flame Cash Gecko, Quarters Overflow, Rabid Gnaw, Raccoon Rallier, Sazacaps Brew, Psychic Whirl, Gales of Shale, Thought Stalker Warlock, Roughshod Duo, Valley Flame Caller, Thorn Plate Intimidator, Alania's Pathmaker, Grilled Spark Shooter, Polygraph Orb, that one I believe is, yeah, that one's from the previous expansion coiling rebirth wake husk boar reptilian recruiter husk burster swarm and then of course the swamps and we've got blood fell cave so this is actually going to be my first match playing with this you can see i haven't even gotten any wins yet uh hopefully we can actually match big this time and it looks like it's working yeah yesterday right when i hit play and i even started to record the intro and everything servers instantly went down but it's been really cool to see. Uh, right now, Magic the Gathering Arena is literally at a brand new peak. There's so many different game modes, and I've been saving up so much of my gold. That way I can spend it on the in-game packs, of course, with in-game money. And uh, just see what Bloomboro is all about. People seem to absolutely love it so far, though. So let's see if uh, if this deck's any good at all. I I didn't even really look over the cards that much, so I'm learning just with you watching. Um, so we'll see how things go here. It's a black and red deck. Uh, we'll throw down. Throw this down. Probably should have did the swamp first, but that's okay. Go again. Ravine Raider. Gets plus one. Okay. Yeah, we'll throw it down. It has menace from the start, so that's not too bad. By the way, if you guys end up enjoying this too, leaving likes help out a whole ton. The more likes we get, the more episodes of Arena I will try to put out. Because I've been playing it a lot myself off stream and off video, so I would love to do some more of it. The trample whenever you expend four, target creature gets plus one plus one and gains trample until end of turn rough shot duo seems kind of kind of good and there's a one one we'll go ahead and attack because it's got menace anyways what did they throw down a thought shucker huh put a plus one plus one counter on thought shucker and draw a card activate only if seven or more cards are on your graveyard and only once interesting what else we got here when the orb enters look at the top four cards of your library put two of them into your hand and rest into your graveyard you lose two life my go-to lately for colors and magic have really been white and blue decks those have probably been my two favorites as of late especially with the whole murders at karlov manor i had a lot of fun with a detective deck deck that I got specifically from playing this actually from playing the jump in game mode being able to choose two themes that are like literally put together perfectly and then combines together it has been a lot of fun yeah we'll throw down the blood fell caves in one life destroy target creature I'm gonna hold on to that for now it's plus one until end of turn sure We'll do that. And then trample three, two. Oh, yeah. We're going to hit both of those. Because they can defend, but they're just going to die with that creature. All right. 
see how this goes yeah i've been really excited for for bloomberg here though just like everyone else and it's crazy too because i told myself i wouldn't really get into a lot of the other expansions for magic i'm not getting a play booster myself or anything like that i am getting the bundle which i'll do a video on but the rest of it probably gonna be in magic arena to be honest Blum, Blum Creed Escort gains target, uh, target creature you control gains hexproof until end of turn. Okay. And they've got a steam path charger. When this creature dies, deals one damage to target player. Throw that down. When it enters with a plus one counter on it, Oh, it enters with a plus one, plus one counter on it if an opponent lost the life this turn. Um, what we can try doing here then? Will I still have enough to, to pay for it? I'm going to do this. Instead. Target creature, whenever you expend four, target creature gains plus one until end of turn. Ooh. I'm gonna go with this one. I like Roughshot Duo so far. Choose two, put two of them into your hand. I will take, honestly, I'll take one land and I could take both creatures. You know what, fine. I'm gonna take both creatures. So they would have to defend with one if anything, I might go with this. But if they defend with both of them, it's dead. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But then they would also kill both of them. Nice. I mean, I'm going to take one hit, but that's okay. They're down to 11 already. And this is my first time playing with this deck, so... Reach, Trample, and Haste. Oh, that's the Quake Tusk 4. What else do we have here? Yeah, I can't really defend about with that one there. All right. When it enters, choose a target opponent. If they lost life this turn, they reveal their hand. Man. Expend four, put a sash counter on it. There's a lot of cards in here that are like, if you expend four. Sacrifice, discard your hand, then draw cards equal to the number of stash counters on hoarders overflow. Wow, kind of crazy. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this actually. Let's hit that. Let's go ahead and give this that beautiful, beautiful. And let's hit it. You're not even going to be able to block both of these. That's that's a five. They can block this one, but they're just going to die from that. And then yeah. trample. I don't know, but they're getting they're getting their mana up, so they could put out something pretty good here soon, like real soon. I like these uh, raccoon cards so far, though. Mouse, raccoon. Oh, okay, I see. It's a little... Yeah, look at that deck. Or not deck. Look at that card. That's cute. Oh, no. What do they just do? Enchant, creature, or food? It's colorless. Huh. Sacrifice this artifact. Food artifact with that uh, sacrifice this artifact you gain three life lose wow so it it becomes a food that is really interesting do i control a rat no i don't lizard archer when this enters choose a target creature if that creature is powered power is two yeah let's throw this thing. Uh, powers two or less. Gain control of that creature until end of turn. 
Ooh. Vigilance. Okay. I like that. We're going to go both of these. Oh, I should have gone. I don't know why I didn't. I should have, yeah, took this one. This is a 2-1. They wouldn't have been able to block it anyways. Oh. It would have been down by one more, but whatever. It's all good. When Light Shell Duo enters Survey 2. And they threw down this one. Prowess. This prowess. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one until end of turn. Nice, another mountain. I like that. Two of these cards would be good. I have to drop them or put them down after they take damage, but I don't think they're going to really take a lot of damage here. Unless, hold on. Can I still play them? Yep, nice. Let's do four. And they can try blocking with both of these, but then they're going to take the four hit. Honestly, that's fine. Yeah, that's what I figured. They're going to take the four hit. Unless if they got a card in their hand. See what happens. Oh, boy. All right, a 3-4 and a 1-4. Honestly, I'll take that. Pick out the 3-4 first, and I'll take the one hit. Wait. Did I do that? Oh, my God. I did that dumb there. Okay, never mind. Bad idea. If they lost life this turn, reveal their hand. You choose a non-land card from it, and they discard that card. Otherwise, they discard a card. <laughs> Reveal that hand, drop that card, discard it. There you go. Now you got another one. It was a Brill Spark Shooter. Okay. I did see that Midweek Magic is also going on. I haven't seen any of the decks that you get through that. I was hoping that there was going to be more starter decks with Bloomborough in them but i guess they're not at least in the game i don't know if they're going to be added at any point in the future but i guess we'll see uh oh things are not looking although they're pretty low things aren't looking great for me honestly i think i'm just going to take the hit Oof. Oof. this is going to be very, very close. Return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Then if the gift was promised and that creature isn't a legendary, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a 1-1. One, one. I think I gotta do some of these. Shoot, I don't know what to use. We're gonna do this. Yep. This might be GG right here. This is it. Give me that. Oh, this is GG. Fire creature gets 2-1. Adios. Oh, that was a close match. Uh, where's the good game button? This is one thing that I, as somebody who is just recently getting into magic a lot, I I absolutely love how much these matches can be very like one to two matches, or I mean, uh, turns away from a winner. Like if I didn't get that there, they would have won next turn. Or if, since I did get that there, I did win that. It's, it's very like close a lot of times, or at least for most matches. That's a cool card. Duck, Doc, Arlock, Grizzle Genius. All right, we'll claim that. And I've been holding on to these. So real quick, we're going to open these. I got this from logging in. They give you like three packs right away. So let's see what we get. 
I have not actually opened these because I wanted to save for this game mode here. Uh, but we're going to go back in and we'll continue playing with that deck. At least for right now. We got Alanya. Or Elena. Al Alani? Alania? Alania? One of those two. Divergent Storm. Okay. We got Mockingbird. And Dower Port Mage. Nice. Some good stuff here. I've seen this card a lot. The Otter Wizard. Some of these are, are so cool. What else do we got in here? Let's see if I recognize any. There's another Hoarder's Overflow. Tempest Angler. Ooh. The Red Blue. Okay. Warren Elder. Donar Strike. Dire Sight. Might of the Meek. Man, some of these cards look so good. All right, let's uh, let's do another jump in. I'd like to do at least like two to three matches with the decks that I get from these. Unless if I sometimes I'll win and then resign, get a new pack and then go from there. But we'll see. Because you also get to learn the cards a lot better. And there's I'm sure there's tons in here that we didn't even use. Yeah, like this time we've got a bunch of uh, black cards. So do that. Keep it. When that enters, all right. Throw down the swamp. And let's throw down this guy again. Ravine Raider. What was the other one? Ruthless Negotiation. Target opponent exiles a card from their hand. If this card was cast from a graveyard, draw a card. Huh. Each opponent discards a card. Ah, uh, shoot. Honestly, I'm going to... Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Wait, that's actually... Because <laughs> I can cast it from the graveyard. Graveyard. <laughs> when this enters, each opponent discards two cards unless they discard a non-land card. Ooh. I feel like that's pretty good early on. And then what's it do after that? At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, they lose two life. Bandit's talent. They're trying to decide which cards to drop. Oh boy, they're taking their time. I i mean, I get it, it can be hard to choose. We'll go for the free hit. With Menace there. Rabid Gnaw, Thought Stalker, Warlock. It's crazy with, I, I do feel like with the little amount of time, oof. Oh no, I got to discard two now. Uh, get rid of this one and swamp if I want to. I'm gonna get rid of this swamp. There's a 40, 42% chance I get another one. Then if you control a rat, survey too. So they get the survey too. Surveil. Taking the two there. Whenever this attacks, defending player loses one life and you gain one life. Okay, that's actually not bad. Do I have to activate this? Oh, it costs two. Beginning of each player's upkeep of that player. So I can wait until they have... Wait, they have two, one or fewer cards in the hand. Throw that. So I'll definitely want to wait until I get they have one more card left. If they play a land and then one card, oof, it's right there. Vile Smasher. Gleeful Grenadier. Whenever another outlaw you control enters, Vile Smasher Glee Grenadier deals one damage to target opponent. The Goblin Mercenary. There's a Swamp. Ooh. 
Choose an online card from it, discard that card. Ooh, ooh, wait, this could actually be great. Hold on. I got an idea here. I can't spend anything though. But they also can't block both. We're doing this. We're doing it. Hold, hold. Cause then I can train reaction this, then do this potentially, maybe? No. I won't be able to do that this turn. Okay. Next. Perfect. Just got a card, baby. Reveal their hand, and I get to choose. Oh. The rat rogue? I mean, the rat rogue is probably better, but... That one's a 5-4. Target opponent loses 3 life unless they sacrifice a non-land. Let's get that one out of there. I'll take the 5-4 because I can always destroy the target creature. Okay. Same. Same. <laughs> oh, nothing. Nothing there? Okay. All right. Yes. Oh, perfect. Level two. Wait, what? That didn't work. They have one. They have one card in their hand. If if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, they lose two life. I'm waiting for them to put out that other card. So I think I'm gonna hold. I'll do this. Two, two. Do that. Because it'll at least kill one of them. Or they have to block. They can only block one, actually. Okay, they took the four. Yeah, but now they're going to hit me with five, at least. I feel like right now this is my best chance, though. And next turn, I'm going to use the destroy on that. Nice. Alright, before they can do anything, let's get that guy out of there. Hit it with this. Nice. What is that? At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep? Oh, so the level three, I have to... Oh, it's at the beginning of their upkeep. That's what I miss. So as long as they have no card... Oh, God. This might be a chain reaction. Okay. So they're going to lose two life. I have to get them down by at least... Four right now and I think I can target player draws two cards that that gift was promised I think I can do it right here that's an instant okay oh yeah we got it they can block either one whichever one that they block I'm just gonna up this the other one by this plus two They can block one, but the other one's going to be a four. And we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see. Yep, that's what I figured. That's fine. Let's hit this. I'm just going to do this. Wait, target a player. <gasps> shoot, shoot, shoot. Hold on. Cancel. I'm going to gift them. Target creature you control gets plus two target. Player draws two cards. If the gift was promised, give the tapped fish. So I would want to target them, right? No. Me. Target creature you control. I can gift them this. Wait, I'm so confused. 
Fire player draws. If that gift was promised, target creature you control gets plus two until end of turn. So I'm going to discard this one. Commit. Oh, it's I did that incorrect. Oh, no. I did it incorrect. Oh, this is GG. Oh, no, dude. I did that completely wrong. I thought I was giving, like, gifting them that card. Sometimes reading these cards can be very confusing. But that was a, that was a good attempt right there. We'll go for one more with this deck here. Oh, that hurts. I, yeah, I knew that I was gifting them, but I thought the second creature I was getting, I, I meant to click the other one where it would get the plus four, and then next turn they would get hit by the plus two, or I mean the minus two, for having one card in their hand. But, oh, that hurts. And I'm sure if you just watch that, I'm sure you're hurting from that one too. But we got one more. Let's see if we can pull through with this deck. One more here. Let's see what we got. Gold pan. So you can still get cards from the old deck. Oh god. I have nothing. I can I need a mountain. Yeah. Give me that mountain real quick. I'll take I'll take that mountain off your hands. Please. I got nothing. Wait, what is this? Oh, there we go. Whew. Needed that. So what is gifting? You may promise an opponent a gift as you cast a spell. If you do, you they create a treasure token before its other effect. Ah. And a lot of these, if the gift was promised, Blooming Blast also deals three damage to that creature's controller. I see. What is that? Rodeo Pyromancer and Resilient Roadrunner. I think this is the Outlaw set. If I remember correctly. What is that one? Apricotty Sunborn. Oh, dude. I'm doing so bad on... Well, actually, I'm not doing terrible. I love the little sound effects in the background. Let's throw this down. Get some creatures out there. Ooh. I, I think I'm going to hold. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do this. Got an idea. Go to the blockers, because I got two instants here, so I can do this at least. Gains a lifelink. Ooh, there we go. And indestructible. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. I like that. I like how that played out there. Oh no. What was that? Quickstand Whirlpool? I kind of wish that Jump In was a standard game rather than it being uh, limited with only a 40 card deck. I mean, it's great for getting familiar with a lot of cards, but I wish I could take this and just go into another game, game mode, but. When this enters, if an opponent lost life this turn, add. Okay. I'm gonna have to play that. Otherwise I would, but okay. Deal two damage to target creature. I could actually get rid of, I, I should get rid of Pyro. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, 
add to him. Oh God. I don't know about this one here. Um, I mean, I can't even block that one. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think I'm going to do this. Yeah. Gift them a treasure. Let's get this thing out of there. Because that's too good every turn. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to deal. T I'm dumb. I should just concede right now. <laughs> I was... Oh, I wasn't thinking. I was thinking that it did three extra damage. I forgot that it does it to the con creature's controller. Oh, it's GG. Six, 10, 10. I'll have five left. Oh, they can't attack with that one. Ah. Where's that one card that if they have one or less cards, they'd lose two every turn. Now. Okay, I'm at eight. Oh, there it is. Speaking of that card. <laughs> okay. So they won't be able to play anything, but next turn they can hit me for 10. So I, I got to do something here. I got to pay the one. Pay the one. What's their card? Oh, they have a mountain in their hand. Choose attackers. I'm going to go no, because otherwise I'm going to die. They got a lot of mana up front. Yeah, that, that Rodeo Pyromancers, that's all right. I screwed up here. Because they can cast so much here because of that card, but hey, that's the name of the game sometimes. That is the name of the game. All right, well, GG. I'm, wait, I'm down to one. Wait, they didn't. Okay, whatever just happened, I completely missed it there. Okay, I'm up by two. <laughs> okay. Offspring. I'm going with this one. They lose three life. Unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card, they can't do... Oh, oh, they can. Oh, they got rid of that. Oh. It's going to be over... Pontiac GTO. They're going for the 3 3. That's it? Oh, it's over. Again. Hit me. Hit me. I always, every time I can, I always try to say the good game back. Nice. Well, we still did the best we could. We didn't come out on top of that last game. I should have, but of course, uh, that, that's just how it goes sometimes. Magic can be very, very confusing. There's constantly new cards breaking rules that old cards set. So it is what it is. I'm still a noob anyway. So if you guys ended up enjoying this, leave a like on it. Let me know if you have any suggestions, if you've been playing this, if you have any like guides or really anything at all, because I'm still very new to magic. I've been trying to consume as much content as I can without getting too burnt out and just having a good time trying new cards. So again, thank you for watching. Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live playing other Let's Plays or 
uh, anytime I post new videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.